Greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are reading Deuteronomy chapter 30. As we read and meditate this chapter, may the Lord speak to each one of our hearts and minds. This chapter can be divided into two sections. Section 1 deals about the blessings of the returning to God. Section 2, the choice of life or death. Section 1, the blessing of returning to God. Verse 1 to 6. Now it shall come to pass when all these things come upon you the blessing and the curse which I have set before you and you call them to mine among all the nations where the Lord your God drives you and you return to the Lord your God and obey his voice according to all that I have commanded you today uh, you and your children with all your heart and with all your soul that the Lord your God will bring you back from captivity and have compassion on you and gather you again from all the nations where the Lord your God has has scattered you if any one of you were driven out to the farthest parts under heaven from where from there the Lord your God will gather you and from there he will bring you then the Lord your God will bring you to the land which your fathers possessed and you shall possess it he will prosper you and multiply you more than your fathers and the lord your god will circumcise your heart and the heart of your descendants to love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul that you may live or 7 to 10 also the lord your god will put all these curses on your enemies and on those who hate you who persecuted you and you will again obey the voice of the lord and do all his commandments which i command you today The Lord your God will make you abound in all the work of your hand in the fruit of your body and in the increase of your livestock and in the produce of your land for good for the Lord will again rejoice over you for good as he rejoiced over your fathers if you obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes which are written in this book of law and if you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul In verse one to three, we see the phrase used: "You call them to mind." Moses moved to the future when curses would be over and blessings would come. At some future time, after disobedience to the law brought the on Israel the curses of the covenant, the people will remember that the circumstances in which they found themselves were in the consequence of their disobedience, and in repentance they will return to the Lord. This repentance will lead to a wholehearted commitment of obedience to God's commandment and the consequent end of Israel distress we see in verse 3 this is the ultimate salvation of Israel by faith in Christ spoken by Isaiah Amos Zephaniah Jeremiah and many other prophets in in the New Testament spoke uh, brought by Paul in verse 6 we see the circumcised your heart is the phrase used god himself would work in the hearts of his people so that they would love him god would extend the benefits of his work to the descendants of these people he would create a community of faith that would worship him from generation to generation and you see the verse a uh, phrase all your heart and uh, soul god's intention for his people have always been for the whole person to respond him outward symbols such as circumcision were always intended by god to be marks of inner realities in verse 8 and 9 we see again the phrase used you will again obey the voice of the lord with a new heart under the new covenant israel would obey all the commandments of the lord this would result in the lord's blessing which would bring greater prosperity than israel had ever previously experienced the second section of this chapter the choice of life or death was 11 to 14 for this commandment which i command you today is not too mysterious for you nor is it far off it is not in heaven that you should say who will ascend into heaven for us and bring it to us that we may hear it and do it nor it is beyond the sea that you should say who will go over the sea for us and bring it to us that we may hear it and uh, do it uh, but the word is very near you in your mouth and your heart that you may do it was 15 to 20 see i have said before you today life and good death and evil 
in that I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in His ways, and to keep His commandments, His statutes, His judgments, that you may live and multiply, and the Lord will, Lord your God will bless you in the land which you go to possess. But if your heart turns away, so that you do not hear or draw away and uh, worship other gods and serve them, I announce you today that you will surely perish and you shall not prolong your days in the land which you cross over the Jordan to go in and possess. I shall call, I will call heaven and earth as witness today against you that uh, I have said before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both of you that both you and your descendants may live, that you may love the Lord your God, that you may obey, obey His voice and you may cling to Him, for He is your life and the length of your days, and that you may dwell in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, to give them. Verse 11 to 14 we see, mysterious is the phrase or the word used. It means difficult. Moses reminded the Israelites that obedience to God was not a complicated issue, not in heaven, nor it is beyond the sea. Obedience to the law did not require a super, superhuman effort because God had revealed the law to his lights. And the phrase used, the word is very near you, is the phrase used in these verses. When God's law was internalized by the working of the Holy Spirit, the believer loved God's instruction and sought to carry them out. The believer would obey God's law in response to God's law, not as a way of earning God's law or, or of deserving His forgiveness. In verse 15, we see Moses challenged the people to determine what path they should follow. One way led to life because God's blessings rested on it. The other way led to death and evil because God's curses rested on it. Likewise, Jesus in His ministry challenged the people to determine that what path they would make it. They would take it. In verse 18 we see the emphasis on today is remarkable in this section. Moses established here the best pattern of preaching the word of God. Response to God should not be delayed, assuming that there will be a later day to respond him is a dangerous thing. In verse 19, heaven and earth as witness is the phrase used. All of creation witnesses Moses' introduction. His challenge to the Israelites to love and obey God and the people's response, choose both you and your descendants may live, is a phrase used. The present generation's choice would determine the direction of future generation. Dear beloved, as the Lord is speaking through this chapter, let's examine in our hearts and minds that we should always choose good and obey the commandments of Lord Jesus Christ and follow his footsteps and choose life in our lives. May the Lord bless this short meditation and the edification of our spiritual lives and may He continue to speak the remaining chapters of this book, Deuteronomy. Amen.